Today I will be showing you how to animate this button using Ease In and Ease Out in Dragon Fame. If you want to learn how to animate like a professional, it is necessary to know and use Ease In and Ease Out in your animations. I have my camera set up and ready to go. Let's start by talking about what each of these terms mean. So ease in is when your object starts slow at the beginning and gradually goes faster. It means that we need to take more pictures at the beginning and fewer pictures at the end. Ease out is when our object is moving fast at the beginning and slows down later. So fewer pictures at the beginning and more pictures toward the end. And if you want to use ease in and ease out on one movement, our object starts slow, accelerates in the middle and starts slowing down again toward the end. We will be animating all these three uh, options using this button. So let's start by finding our drawing pen tool. Mine is right over here. Yours might be somewhere else, maybe on this area when you hover over it. Before we get started, uh, I have my project set to 24 frames per second and I will be taking 25 pictures for this button to go from this side to the other side on a straight line. So let's get our straight line tool because my movement is straight but if you are using a curved uh, movement or any other shape you can use these other tools available. So I'm going to grab my line tool and turn on my grid as well and I will find the middle of my button and start drawing a line from this side to the other. And by the way, if you hold shift on your keyboard, it's going to give you an absolute straight line. So you don't have to try so hard to make sure your line is straight. It will automatically give you a straight line. Now, in order to use the um, spacing feature available on Dragon Frame, we need to select this line by the selection tool and click on this increment editor. If you don't select the line, uh, this whole area will be grayed out so you would know that you would have to select it. And as I mentioned, I want to take 25 pictures, which is going to give me a one second and one frame video. Drag and frame, divide your section into 25 equal section, which is called even spacing. This is going to be a pretty boring animation if you want to try and animate it, go for it. But the first thing that I'm going to animate today is the ease in movement, meaning that more pictures at the beginning, more of these lines and fewer to the end. So our animation, so our line is going to look like something like this. That looks about right. I'm going to close this and you can add as many guidelines as you want for yourself. I will be adding one more to the bottom of my button and align it with the bottom. So I will be aligning the left side of the button with each of these lines. And as you can tell, I've already left the space for this button at the end. So the overall animation would be kind of in the middle, roughly in the middle. So I will start animating this uh, button. I'll put it on fast forward and we'll come back and look at it when I'm done. This is ease in animation. Uh, 
All right, so I finished animating the ease in. Let me put it on loop and play it. So as you can see, it starts slow and go faster at the end. Now let's try using the same set of lines that we created and change it to an ease out kind of look. So we are going to move these um, anchor points to something that looks like the opposite of the previous one. Something like this. This would give us an ease out animation. I will put this on fast forward again and we'll take a look at it in a few seconds. Now here our ease out animation. So you can see how nice it goes to stop. Okay. Now let's um, let's bring back our lines and change this to an ease in and out kind of look. For that one, we need to have more of these lines at the beginning and at the end and a fewer at the middle something like this okay so i'm going to put this on uh, fast forward again and we'll come back and uh compare the three And I'm done with ease in and out movement and as well. Let's take a look at it. It starts nice and slow, goes fast in the middle, and ends at a slower pace as well. Let's look at all the three that we animated today once again. This is ease in, starts nice and slow, goes faster ease out and here is ease in and out by the way i want to mention that once you practice a little bit more you would be able to animate without these uh, guidelines as well this is a very common stop motion uh, project you can try it with a coin or with anything that you have around if you found value in this please give it a thumbs up and i hope i see you in the next one